what is going on foodies tonight i made some carne en su jugo if you want to find out how i made it just stick around and keep on watching all right you guys here i have eight tomatillos and one serrano pepper i'm gonna go ahead and cook these just as until the color has changed i will show you what that looks like if you want it spicier, then you can go ahead and add two serrano peppers. But because I have kids, I just went ahead with the one. All right, you guys, they are all done. Normally, I wouldn't let them get this soggy, but I was sidetracked getting the other stuff ready. But they'll be fine. Let me show you what's going on. Okay, you guys, so I have two tablespoons of cumin, two tablespoons of garlic, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of oregano, and I ended up using a whole onion, and this is what's going in the blender with the tomatillos. All right, so I put everything in the blender. I also added three cups of water to this, and... I added almost a whole bunch of cilantro. I forgot it in this little kip, but then I realized that I forgot it and I had to put it back in with the cilantro. So there it is, you guys. I'm glad I remembered and I'm just going to blend it up, leave it to the side and I'm going to start cooking the rest of the food. All right, you guys, I have about eight slices of butcher block bacon that I chopped up. I'm going to go ahead and cook these, put them to the side, leave the fat, the grease from the bacon in your pot. And that is what you are going to cook your chuck roast in. And here is the bacon, you guys, looking all yummy nice and delicious now it's time to cook your main meat all right you guys this is when you would add your chuck roast i had some sliced ribeye um, left over from last night so I, this is what i'm using in mine if you want to add some salt and pepper this is when you're going to go ahead and do it now Basically, we're not wanting to base let the meat crisp or brown. We just want the juices to release. Once the juices start to release, then we're going to throw in our tomatillo sauce and let this bad boy cook. And I will show you what it's going to look like once the juices start to release. Stay tuned, guys. All right, you guys, you see my juice at the bottom. Now, if you're going to be using the chuck roast, you're going to produce more juice than this is. So once you start seeing that juice like that, then you know it's go time to go ahead and put your sauce in, cover it up, and let it cook. All right, you guys, this is when the dish starts to come together. In goes the sauce. I'm also going to throw my bacon in. You can save some for the end to garnish if you'd like, but I just went ahead and put it all in together. I'm also going to be adding in two more cups of water. And I also added one can, a little small can of salsa verde. It was just to give it a little more flavor. It didn't take away from the dish. The dish still tastes awesome. So it's optional if you want to add this or not. I recommend it. I think it tastes really good, guys. And we're going to go ahead and let this cook on medium, medium high for 30 minutes with the lid on. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. And if you'd like to check it halfway in between cooking, just to make sure your flavors are right. If you need to add anything else, then go ahead and do so, guys. All right, you guys, here it is. One thing I forgot to mention, I did have about, let me say, three, four cups of frijoles. I added half of them to the actual dish once it was almost done, and the rest I kept to the side. So whenever I served the plate, I just added another scoop to it and put it on the side. So you can leave it on the side of your guys' dish or add it into the dish. It's totally up to you. I did sprinkle some more cilantro on top 
and I garnished with some yummy onion. I made some corn tortillas on the side. And then what I did not picture here, I did add some queso fresco. You guys, it tastes amazing. This is the first time I made it for my husband. He's never had it. He loved it. It's perfect, you guys. Hopefully, you guys give this recipe a try. I promise you will not be disappointed. If you're new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe for more content. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this dish. And I will see you soon. And if you'd like to see more videos, just go ahead and click on my picture. Click the uploads and see what else I got on my channel, guys. Thank you all for watching. And until next time. Bye.